What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a new gameplay series. And for this one, I was actually thinking of doing it, but I didn't think I should because it showed a man's penis there, but still, I wanna do it because it's YouTube. And if I wanna do content, I'll do content. So anyways, for this gameplay series, we're gonna be playing Alan Wake 2. So if you're gonna enjoy this, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get started. Okay, this is the menu screen. We're going to start a new game. So either story mode. Story means easy. Normal means regular. And hard means extremely hard. But for now, I'm just going to do what I usually do, which is normal mode. to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. That's true. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Okay. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Oh, there's a naked man. Oh, God. I'm gonna blur that out, sorry. I'm gonna blur that out, I'm sorry guys. Okay, now we're in the game. Now we're playing as a naked man. So, but don't worry, it's a good thing I know how to edit so I could just blur the, blur the guy's butt, so I'll be fine. Oh. Can you hear me? Oh, God. So I was told this is a horror game. I actually looked up on Google and it said it's a horror game. So now let's do this. Oh, Bismillah. Oh, oh my God! Oh, Bismillah! What? Oh, This is going to be a good series today. Oh! Oh. This is gonna be a good series because basically horror game gets more views 
Because, see, if you want to know why, ask Corey Kenshin. Okay, here, here. I can't see. Maybe I need to fix the brightness, but I'll do that later. They just killed that guy. PG-16, and now this is PG-18. I guess that would, I guess that would, I guess that what makes the game good. And it got his heart. Ah! And the man is dead. Okay, I'm gonna admit, that was scary. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. <laughs> I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. I'm trying to find my phone. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. <laughs> I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> it can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson right up your alley you should take lead think of me as the backup okay any words of advice nothing that would cheer anyone up mm. here we are cauldron lake cauldron lake Deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Ruined one. Inve. Uh, hold on, let me get my phone real quick. 
Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Hmm. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back Could down. be our deputy. I can go take a look. Hey, over here. Hello? Hey there. Agent Casey, right? That's right. Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Saga Anderson. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh, Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? I mean, it was you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. I totally get that. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. That we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry, Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Okay, now... Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Okay, let me just first fix the brightness. Hold on, let me see if it's saved. Hold on, let me put my favorite number in. <laughs> I just want to be Mr. Beast funny, but I'm not. I need to think through the facts of the case. Okay. The mind place. My mm. version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I should talk to someone. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hey, Casey, you putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a 
better detective than I am. Ah, oh, so you're admitting you're su so you're admitting you suck, okay? I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? Yes. You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. They end up that funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Mm. What's wrong with that? Headache. It's too much sky. So? The sky is beautiful. The tree is beautiful. The nature is beautiful. If I was gonna have my own house, I'd probably I would probably be around Not the millions of trees. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Yeah. We actually have trees in our backyard. Yeah. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. Yeah, I also like rain. around here that feels like home. Yeah, you think true. the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. Like, like I said, we have trees in our backyard because it's for it's good for the environment. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. And I forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Thornton, he's joking. Let's just see this body, shall we? There it is. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Oh, yeah. He didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. Okay, you now let's investigate. Coffee. Okay, let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? I honestly don't know. Step one, examine the corpse. Okay, I'm gonna have to examine the dead body. Start by inspecting the body, Anderson. I was trying to do body that. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Yep. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? I take it as, I take it it's not a coincidence. Yeah, I think I should investigate this. Okay, so it's missing its heart. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Yep. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. And his heart over there. The killer left the heart right next to the body. <clears throat> this video is definitely not for kids. Now we're gonna put this over here. Uh, 
Let's see over here. Heart removed from chest. Yes. Strapped by the wrists. Uh huh. Definitely matches the previous murders. Yep. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Okay. Okay, learn more about the victims, learn more about the killers. Okay. So we need to go back. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. A large amount of blood on the table. Okay, let's check over here. The victim died here. Someone was drinking beer. Yeah. They spent time here. Waiting. Looks like it's a celebration. Oh, look. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Mm. Was it for a camera? I'll go back here. Okay, now we got something. Okay, so we need to talk more with the deputy. Alright, let's go up to the deputy and let's talk to him more. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Yep. Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. All right. I think I remember who Nightingale is. I think he was in Alan Wake 1. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. I see something over yeah, there. I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Yes, he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same huh. as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. I check out this evidence over here. Multiple people were here. Hmm. Multiple What's killers. Steps? Let's go back to the. That... Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Yep, I'm gonna think about it over here. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. All right, so this is the victim. We got Nightingale. Oh, that's Nightingale. He was an FBI. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. There you go. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing mm -hmm. the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Alright, victim from... Oh. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Let me fix that audio.
This mug always cheers me up. Uh, not the worst mom. <laughs> That's cute. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Hmm. That's interesting. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Find the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. I don't have I, I think I need to stay here. Okay. Investigate the crime scene. Check the lake whore. Sure. Okay. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, right. This way, right? Right. Okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. Mm. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Mm -hmm. The creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. I gotta agree. Oh, There's a happens. piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. Hmm? The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, reading the words. The words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone played Alan a game. Wake. An invitation. How, How could they, they not accept? accept even, even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Nightingale about this page. 
Okay, now let's go here. Up from the lake, that's not a lake. Ooh. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says it. I think he came from the lake. He came. But his tracks make no sense. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page. The first page that they had found. Not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words. These words. Felt like a message. Was a message. Someone knew they were here. What they were doing. Someone playing a game with them. Leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them. Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Okay, I guess I should follow him. Or I should probably look more. Oh yeah. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Okay. Let's see. I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. Mm -hmm. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for Ooh, her science fair. That's Even nice. On a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Hmm. Thank you. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Okay. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Mm. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome.
And also guys, just because I'm doing an Alan Wake 2 gameplay series doesn't mean that's not going to stop me from reacting to SMG4. I'm still going to react to SMG4 while doing this series. Now where do we go? Yeah. I think over here. Oh, that's Brent's here. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Yeah. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a snuff film? Maybe. And for why second. take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to it's find. A, it's actually a sacrifice, I think. There's the cars. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Let's go to Bright Falls. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. And here we are, Bright Falls. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Welcome to Bright Falls. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Mm-hmm. Bright Falls, Washington. So Bright Falls is just a small town filled with boring stuff. But this is a town for ghosts. And this is where Alan Wake 1 took place. I don't know if this is a real place, but if it is a real place, then I'd want to visit. But not for like a week, just probably like, you know, three days. Let me guess. The FBI. Yep. Welcome to Bright Falls. Thank you. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Thank you. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims? Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, scream into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgin late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Okay. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard <laughs> shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives. 
like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found it. The whole thing was terrifying. That's I thought something. Good to see you. The Bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. Oh, by the way, you, by the way, here's a fun fact about uh, Ander, about Anderson. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, oh. Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Also, again, here's a fun fact about Saga Anderson. She's actually a real person. Like, she's Hello, a Mr. Deer. Like the actor. You remind me of a dream I had. Like the face that you just saw. That's actually a real person. I need the necklace Tammy found. It's evidence. Like, see the face? That's a real person. I need a tool to get this open. You could use your gun, but that's not gonna work. I mean, now you can't do that because you're in a diner and people will, feel, will be like, What the hell was that? It doesn't budge. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Tammy. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Oh, Sarah, Sarah. I thought not Sarah, it's Sarah. Oh God, Saga, Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Is it Sarah? I thought we'd never see you back here. Sarah after Rose, awful, Rose. Awful uh, thing happened to I don't know what's her name. Okay, so Rose. How are you? Um. I'm yeah, it's sorry. Rose. I can read her name what tag. I don't know what you're talking about. Rose. It's me, silly. Rose. Rose. You know me. I think her full name is Sarah Rose or something, but I don't know. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your I'm pretty daughter. sure that was uh, I'm pretty sure that was Alice. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. If you say so. What really happened to our daughter? All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Hey, hold on. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. 
We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hmm. They seem nice. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs. All right, hold on. So it looks like we got a new case. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. That's uh, so we have different case. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. No speeding happening here, I see. Sir, some patience, please. I get myself a torch. Hmm. Officer. Oh, here. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Okay. Oh. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body... There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? <sighs> the body shows signs of being submerged in water, post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Let's go to the case board. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. So that's Nightingale. Doesn't make sense. <sighs> 
Yeah. Chest wound is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. There you go. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. How did that fit in there? I guess I probably know how, but ew. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. That's his weakness. Right. Here's her gun. I'll make you pay. For what? That's a way to die, I guess. Let me try again. There we go. I need to get into the light now. Okay. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Go! Okay, got my gun. 
end of chapter so i take it that's the end of chapter one so okay i've seen this before in alan wake one so let's just go to chapter two yep somebody he home have a heart but he still got up the page predicted all of it it helped me fight him oh, oh. He, he just disappeared saga was back at cauldron lake Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale was, but wasn't to taken a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, the dark place, merged with ours. This place in the dark place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult, required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside. Waiting for her. Okay, so Nine Girl was awake. Turns out he didn't die. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Okay. Think. So we're probably wondering which platform I'm playing this in. I'm playing on the PlayStation 5. There. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. Mm. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Mm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. 
Oof. I can't force it open. Must be locked from the other side. Let me go back to the case board. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. Sorry, I thought I was unmuted, but figure out where Nightingale went. Okay, anyway, sorry about that, guys, that I muted and I also paused the video because my nannies were in here and they were cleaning or just, or just adding more clothes in it. But so anyways, we need to figure out where Nightingale is. So let me just see if I can. Alright, I think we should go to the map to figure out where he is. Hold on. Okay, I looked up a YouTube video and I'm supposed to go here. I think somewhere here. Oh, that's just so. If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. Mom may be gone, but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga, didn't see her under the light, pushed past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker. Lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest. 
But here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. The Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. Okay, let me check again. Okay, I should probably review more in the case. So let's just go here. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Hmm. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. There we go. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. But that's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Come on. And repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. <coughs> yep. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. The same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then 
Ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in part two. Bye-bye.